Namaste guys, I hope you all doing great. So in this video, we are going to compare which one is better AMD Ryzen 3000 series, Ryzen 5000 series, Intel 9, 10 generations and last but not least the Apple M1 processors. So let's get started. So first we are going to compare about AMD Ryzen 3000 series and Intel 9 Gen 4. Don't worry, we will move on to 5000 series and Intel 10 Gen series uh, onwards. But these are currently available in the markets more easily and you can get, on, get your hands on. Whereas 5000 series is currently a little difficult to get a hands on. So let's see. So before I start telling the results or benchmarks. So the source of this is Puget system. Puget system basically a company that basically designed a desktop PC for your company's work. For example, if you are using heavy 3D animation software, they can make a customized desktop computer as per the requirement of the software and they make a very good PC. So if you are from America, it is a very good website for you. Uh, you can make your custom conf uh, configuration uh, desktop. You can see the starting price here and others. Okay. And you can configuration as per your requirement and they will tell the price. So let's see the benchmark. So here you can see the benchmark is done on SolarWorks 2019 Surface Pack 3 and so first test is here is CPU test file opening. Here you can see that Intel Core i9 is clearly leading it. Now before I move forward, I must need to know that SolarWorks is designed for single core performance. So it means that the Ryzen multi-threading feature is used as for SolarWorks. Why? Because SolidWorks is not designed for multi-threading processors. Now someone will say that uh, SolidWorks will definitely going to move and modify its uh, software to multi-threading. Yeah, it might be true, but it will going to take a lot of time. For example, 3 to 4 years, I guess. And they need to spend a uh, heavy amount of money to modify it. And even if they don't modify it, we can see very kind of bugs, for example, crashing software. So I will think it will take a lot of time before it will move to Ryzen uh, multi-threading, okay? And now let's see another test. So here you can see irradiance test. Irradiance is basically for lighting something. And here you can see the rendering. Here is something strange. Here you can see that Ryzen is leading. But I said uh, just some minutes ago that uh, Intel will be better because single core performance. Uh, remember, there is a session here. The exception is that uh, in a rendering, SolidWorks is designed to use multi-threading. But for simulation and motion study, SolidWorks doesn't use multi-threading. It uses single core performance. Don't worry, when you will see the next benchmarks, you will realize what I mean. So the next benchmark is motion study. So here you can clearly see that Intel Core i9 and i7 defeats the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. That is the most expensive and the best one of AMD's. Okay, even AMD, even Core i i7 is defeating the Ryzen 3900X. Okay, now if we move to next, we can see stress simulation again. Intel is leading Why? because Solvox is designed for a single core performance software. So now let's move to forward. Here you can see CPU test. Uh, it is near. Okay, it is near about now. Thermal simulation and again Intel is winning. Remember, the reason Intel is winning because SolidWorks is designed for single core performance. Again, I am not currently talking about Ryzen 5000 series. Ryzen 5000 is better than Intel Core i9. I will show you uh, just little onwards about Ryzen 5000. Okay. So here you can see the benchmarks. Okay. Uh, one more thing uh, that you can see that Ryzen is uh, winning here. So what does this benchmark is saying that meshing so basically amd ryzen can create meshing better quality uh, at better speed but intel lags uh, intel lags there uh, okay so but doesn't mean that you can do simulation faster as you can see as you have seen the uh, simulations okay that intel clearly leads remember for creating meshing Ryzen leads, but for doing simulation and motion study that basically most of the mechanical engineers do, uh, it lags there. Okay, so again, benchmark simulation 431. Remember that this is basically the meshing size. Okay, and 
again uh, 2000 match and CPU test file open so a question arises which one is good for you so here's the thing for example you are a college student and you are going to the market now from all this simulation uh, what we got that that for general amd ryzen 3rd gen is good but intel core i uh, 900 and 9700k is slightly better amd is good for rendering process but for simulation uh, they recommend that i recommend basically i9 is good now let's talk about the ryzen 5000 series and intel so first thing i will tell you that ryzen 5000 series awesome series awesome okay it has better uh, single core performance and multi threading performance as compared to Intel. So it basically defeat in everything. Okay, they here you can see from the benchmark you can see the difference is huge. Okay, for example here if you see the benchmarks, uh, you will see that the difference is not that huge. Okay, not that big. It is the the, the difference there, but it is not that big as you can see. The difference is quite huge. You can see file opening, file rebuild, file saving. So it can do task better. Here you can see that Ryzen 5000 series do this task in 17.1 in this times. Okay. But here it is taking more time. You can see 21.1. So I highly recommend that you will buy Ryzen 5000 series. Uh, it is much better as compared to the any other processor available in the market. And it is the best processor uh, that will you can get. Now, in terms of simulations, it is also better. As you can see, it is clearly defeating Intel series, uh, where it is the main, you know, market. In thermal simulation, you can see it is defeating Intel processors very badly. And here you can see. So I highly recommend if you have money, buy Ryzen 5000, Ryzen 5000 series. It is worth every penny, and it is good processor. So I highly recommend Ryzen 5000 series. Now the last, the not least, uh, the M1 processors. So I am doing basically search on a lot of sites and I found that people basically are getting problems like these kind of errors. I question arise why they are getting these kinds of errors. So basically, as you know that Ryzen is a, uh, sorry, M1 is a new processor and it works on ARM ar architecture. So Solvox is not programmed for ARM, so you can't run it natively on the hardware. I honestly wonder if you would be able to run on Windows on the new Macs for all the time beings. So here's the thing. Solvox is not designed for the ARMs. And for suppose someone say that Solvox is going to design for the ARM software, ARM processor RAM1. So I think they will not going to do uh, very soon. Why? Because the M1 processor is basically going to be used on laptop not on desktop computers and why the hell some companies spend millions of dollars just for a new processor that is just come in the market even the adobe software it is going to take more than one year uh, to be customized for the m1 and a heavy software like solidworks it is going to take more than three or four years so i highly recommend don't buy m1 processors or apple i highly recommend buy ryzen ryzen or intel i'm uh, i'm not going to recommend buy m1 processors because they are not good remember many softwares are not designed for the m1 i mean there is not a single software if you just leave the apple software so i highly recommend just go for ryzen and intel processors as they are made for solidworks software and solidworks is not going to make m1 uh, in i don't think it will going to make currently and it will going to take a lot of time to make the software customized to arm architecture so i highly recommend don't go there or buy this even from the solidworks official site uh, website people are saying they are facing errors and and on the Apple websites, they are saying, asking uh, whether it is good or not. And most of the people are giving negative comments. So I highly recommend don't buy MacBook Air M1. It is not good. You are just wasting your time and valuable money. And if you think that you just still that you are going to buy. So if you are anybody's 
competent enough to buy i highly recommend please donate this channel <laughs> because it will help me to buy better stuffs and make more good content of this channel okay and if you ask me which processor sh uh, should i buy or is ryzen 3000 series good or bad or 4000 series so here's my advice if i get uh, if I want to buy a laptop, my first preference is to buy AMD Ryzen 5000 series laptop. Okay, my first preference if I have a money. Now, second preference I will give to uh, Intel 10th gen. Remember, minimum 10th gen or 11th gen processors. Second preference. My third preference will be AMD Ryzen 3000 and 4000 series. Now, some people ask me that uh, AMD 3000 series or 4000 series is good or bad. Uh, from my opinion, what I saw that uh, from my friend's laptop, AMD 3000 series and 4000 series is good, but they have some problems. For example, when you do heavy works, they have heating issues and it will going to reduce your laptop life very badly. So for simulation purposes, I recommend Intel processors. But for example, you are in college and you just want to do designing work. The Ryzen processor is good enough. It can handle all your work. But for simulation purposes, I highly not recommend Ryzen processors because they have waiting issues. I remember my friend uh, bought a AMD laptop from HP and it just run uh, four to five years. After that, his laptop is dead. Why? Because he is trying to do a lot of simulations. So, for simulation purposes, I not recommend. I have bought this Intel i5 laptop, I guess 2013, and it's still working fine and it can run simulation. Remember, it is still running. Okay. My friend who bought laptop. AMDs is just that so I highly recommend only buy AMD laptop if you just want to do designing work don't do heavy simulation work if you do you will see reduce uh, reduce life in of your laptop and it, they will die sooner uh, whereas Intel they can handle heavy load works and simulation work okay AMD laptop AMD Ryzen 3000 series is good for 3000 and 4000 is good for animation studios or uh, animation working people if you really want to buy amd then go for the ryzen 5000 series because they are the best one and they can beat intel in every task so if you want to buy amd go for the amd 5000 series not 3000 and 4000 and and the most least processor i would recommend is apple m1 i highly recommend don't buy buy it it is just a waste of time waste of value of money so this that's all for today I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts and queries, make sure you ask in comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.